गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर ए लेक्चर ऑन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम इन इंडिया दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द स्टडी एंड टुडे इज द क्लास लेक्चर माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर पिंटू कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर किसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ज्योग्राफी मगध यूनिवर्सिटी बोध के एज वी नो डेट ट्रांसपोर्ट इज ए वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सेक्टर ऑफ द इंडिया डेवलपमेंट it is called it is known as the transport is the lifeline of the economic development of any country as we know that transport systems play very important role to while the interlinking of different cities metropolitans important districts villages all this the ports all this area so this is the very important to know about the transportation system before the history when the we just the when the it has to be just explored the geographical exploration that was the taking a place and our civilization just has been started from the just besides of the rivers because of the good transportation system and interlinking with the river system but as for as it passes of time it has to be developed into the different film and as we has it has to be recorded in the in the civilization that ki thought the indian civilization was mainly based on the whole the very urban civilization where the road network especially the transport uh, road network it was the connected on the right angles and very built and developed road, road network system in that area as for the historical record and this is the our indus civilization that we need to be talk that the urban settlement of the indian that is was very old system but in the phases in the second uh, phases of time as we know that the sir sasuri has constructed a very grand trunk road that was the first of the important evidence that has been recorded in the indian history sir sasuri has been developed one of the important route that has to be started from uh, the kolkata to new delhi and while linking with the all the Uh, grant that is today that is known as the ns7 national highway 7 from kolkata to banaras and all these areas so this was the one of the important historical evidence that i am going to talk about the different phases of the transportation system as we are just going to talk the transportation system it has to be categorized that we need to be study and my lecture will be focus on this types of point firstly the road networks second railway network railways and airways and waterways road networks that we have to be just uh, a study uh, we i am going to deliver on the lecture of that road network that is a part express way national highway state highway and this national highway is being also characterized by the golden quadrilateral that we known as that is one of the important road project of the india and very largest and important road network and also north south and east west corridor this is the way other ways the waterways we need to be developed because after the uh, this government since last decade the government has focused a lot of many on the ports as well as inland waterways so thereafter we shall talk about the waterways and railways and ways now we are going to talk and deliver on lectures on our roadways road network system in india India has a very India is the second largest country of the road network in the world India is the second largest country in the world for the road network road India road system is not only connected with the metropolitan important city it is also well connected with the village and many cities many a small cities of the india so this was the phase that is to be development it is being maintained and it is being developed by two three types of agencies first the central government that is the that is the national highway state government state highway and many of the small and villages and district road comes under the state highway the national highway constitute 2% of the 
टोटल नेटवर्क सिस्टम और रोड नेटवर्क सिस्टम ऑफ द इंडिया दैट प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द जी डी पी डेवलपमेंट एंड ग्रोथ ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट इन इन ग्रोथ ऑफ द जी डी पी इन इंडिया नो वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द नेशनल हाईवे नेशनल हाईवे इट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली लॉट ऑफ रोड नेटवर्क इन इंडिया इट इज नॉट वेरी इजी to explain all those road network national highway in india but i am going to talk some of the important road project that is being uh, started that is being initiated by the government of india before i starting before talking this road network i am just going to talk some of the agencies which is very responsible which is mainly responsible for the development and maintain of the road network in india especially road network that is the national highway authority of india this is one of the important which all means maintain the whole national highway road network system of india national highway authority of india provide a project for the development of any one of the national highway that we call it national highway development project other is national highway infrastructure road infrastructure development corporation limited is also play very important role for the development of national highway another state that is being maintained by the state public work department spwd third is bro border road organization since it has to be developed in the later on but bro play very important role for the particularly the very uh, a very uh, uh, uneven surface here yeah, very conflict areas like borders area northeast regions that is a very difficult terrain of that area northeast regions east region uh, particularly the uh, uh, borders area that we the border bro has developed a very good network of the jammu leh marg himachal pradesh leh marg jo jila kargil leh marg and especially if you just visit uh, if you are very interested to visit in the sikkim and any area then you just you visit you just travel from the gangtok to nathula dera you will find out a very good road network system that is being newly constructed by the border road organization border road organization has not only limitation to be developed they have not only it is not playing only role for the development of borders area but also it has given it its contribution for the development of road in the states area bro also contributing and giving a much more outstanding contributions for the development of the out foreign road also outside from this country that is tajikistan afghanistan and many of the afghanistan nepal bhutan many of the area where the border road organizations is keeping much more contribution for the development of road network in that country on behalf of indian government so this is the way now i am going to talk about the two important road network in india first it golden lateral uh, golden quadrilateral road network system and second is corridors golden quadrilateral uh, road network is total length is 5846 km it has to be developed into the three different phases first phase is it is especially linked to the metropolitans the first phase that is from delhi to mumbai that total height is 1384 km second phase uh, second point is mumbai to chennai that is around 600 1662 km third phase is chennai to havla that is around 1684 km havla chennai national highway mark. and fourth is chennai uh, delhi to chennai from here to here and uh, this is rus delhi to chennai that is 2182 km and another is from delhi to kolkata that is around 1400 uh, that is around the delhi to havla that is around 1453 km delhi to havla 1453 km this is the first phase golden quadrilateral has started for the development of this route into the three different phases first phase cover the especially which link to the metropolitan city 
that is the total distance i have already given you ideas this one this one this one second phase is especially play very important role for the development of corridor that is north south corridor and east west corridor north south corridor is known as national highway 44 that is the longest national highway of india that is around the its total length is 3745 kilometers another uh, 45 km it is it links with the very important cities of delhi and other areas also which go up to the that area second thing is that from hana that is the national uh, north south corridor is srinagar to kanyakumari now i am going to talk about east west corridor that is around 3300 kilometers this road start from porbandar in gujarat to silchar in assam the meeting point of the north south corridor and east west corridor at jhansi that is the city of uttar pradesh this routes link with the this route has been bone for the north is regions that was the always separated from the developmental part the northeast corridor and southwest south north corridor or east west corridor play a very important role for the development while linking with the very remote area of the indian city india so that lead the particularly many cities has been developed and in this area and it has been recorded it has been recorded into the different phase so this is way i am going to talk about the different phase the third phase of the golden corridor deals with the development of many road network from fourth lane to sixth lane this is that fourth lane to sixth lane particularly those are national highway which is especially linked with the important cities of india so this is the way we i am going to i have already explained the three different phases of the road network of the india under the golden quadrilateral project that is being maintained and constructed by the national highway authority of india somewhere it has to be taken a help of the border road organizations the national highway authority of india has initiated the very big and largest project of the india this golden quadrilateral road network is the very longest and very highest and very uh, largest project of the india that is being developed by the national highway development project under the national highway authority of india you you can just see one of the example dohi and patna route that is also in its national highway which is linking from which is interlinking to the many cities to the northeast north bihar and south bihar and this is being also developed by the national highway authority of india thank you for this wonderful lectures and now we are just inviting for the question session and interactions with our students so you can be just clear your doubt and while this interactions thank you